Israel has a program called Where's Daddy? And in that program, uh, they wait for what they call suspected militants to go home first before they drop the bomb so that they kill his entire family with him. You know what happens when a bomb drops? It incinerates everyone inside that house, burns them alive. What happened to avoiding civilian casualties? No, that is to do civilian casualties. It's reported by Plus 972 magazine inside Israel. Uh, it's also uh, confirmed by The Guardian. This is some of the worst things I have ever seen. When you target civilians like that, that is called terrorism. It's the definition of terrorism. They say that a 20 to 1 kill ratio uh, for a quote-unquote suspected militant was acceptable. And a suspected militant uh, is someone that a computer picks, AI picks, and they spend 15 to 20 seconds confirming it, which is basically a rubber stamp. This is Israeli intelligence officers that are saying this. And they said that they seem to be doing it for revenge and to inflict pain and to be vindictive. Those are their quotes. And they say if it's a Hamas leader, then a 100 to 1 civilian kill ratio is acceptable. Hamas's kill ratio on October 7th was about 2.5 to 1. Israel has got a program consciously where they have made a decision that 20 to 1 or 100 to 1 is acceptable. It is not acceptable. It is the definition of terrorism. And it is also, by definition, empirically worse terrorism than Hamas. That doesn't excuse Hamas. That goes to show you how deeply immoral the leadership of the IDF and this right-wing Israeli government has been. This war is not only destroying Gaza, it's also destroying the moral reputation and the moral core of Israel. Israel must stop this. They must turn around immediately. And if you're not outraged by a program called Where's Daddy, where they m purposely murder the family members, then you lost your moral fiber at some point. And I don't care if I'm offending you. We have to save those people's lives. And those people's lives are so much more important than your feelings about, oh, my beloved Israel, I must protect them under any and all costs. No, you have to be a decent human being and care about those lives a lot more than you care about your identity or protecting something that you think is part of your tribe. So sorry to break your heart, but you're breaking all of our hearts and the world's hearts as more and more innocent people die every single day in Gaza. So turn around immediately. All right, we've got more details on this uh, and all other stories on our show Monday through Friday uh, right here on this channel, youtube.com slash The Young Turks, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, live every day Monday through Friday. We'll see you there.